What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on the FD, getting it cleaned up, looking at the parts we have, and uh, what parts we need. If you are new here, you know, hit that subscribe, smash, 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 as everybody says. Uh, if you've been with me for a while, appreciate it. Let's get going. So I took everything out and well, we, <laughs> we were missing a lot of pieces. But let's first start, starting right here. We have headlight motors with headlights, but no covers. I have no idea if this is the stock overfill. We have one dash side door AC vent. We have the two fenders. This looks like the under the driver's side dash area that you know below the steering wheel looks like it goes there these are some ducting for the front of the car as far as i'm aware i think this one might be either for the brakes or the oil cooler that it doesn't have and i think this is some ducting for the middle area there all right we come back around on this side, I have a whole heap of uh, seals, you know, weather stripping and stuff like that. This I'm probably, well, I'm not going to reuse, but I have them. I said go ahead and throw them in because I wanted to see, you know, exactly what I'm missing. You know, I have this one on this side. So, I mean, it's, you know pretty trash it looks pretty bad so I'm gonna have to you know definitely replace this replace these door ones basically replace all of them uh, let's see I have the gauges like I said I have this switch here and I believe I have to find it somewhere that switch there I believe I saw that switch somewhere uh, in the car I have two seat belts I haven't determined I mean they look a little different so one looks like passenger driver but one is tan one is red so well that's that looks like I have maybe this is the passenger kit panel uh, by the door front door uh, I have passenger door card missing the handle and of course missing all you know this handle piece and the cubby and all that stuff missing all that driver's side I have driver's side door cap card also missing all of that uh, that whole strip there it does have the speaker grills they do have let me lift this up has the you know air vent kind of a messed up uh, seal here and it has you know the AC stuff for that though it's missing most of the clips anything else I have a pedal from I have no idea where the pedals from all right over here on this side I have the rear panel that goes right here around uh, it's pretty beat up looks kind of nasty I have a red I guess it's B pillar molding and it goes you know right here and goes down so I have a red one of those that has this insert piece I have Ah, that's what those are. Those are little pockets that go on the back side of these. I was kind of curious. I couldn't remember, but I see the one tan one there. Or sorry, the one tan one there. So I have two. I have one red, one tan, 
down the other side I have one red and one tan. I have the center back plastic for here. I don't have any of this covering back plastic. Uh, and I have the back piece that goes around here. Whether or not it needs more or anything like that, I don't know. That's all the plastic I have. I am missing, definitely missing the center, the radio bezel, probably the, maybe the passenger kick panel. I gotta look under there. Uh, I do not have this uh, fuel tank sending unit. Uh, this has been open. This thing is probably nasty. I'm gonna definitely have to drop the fuel tank. From what I understand, it has fuel. It still has fuel in it. It's been sitting for a year or two. Have all this mess. Let's see. Let's go to the driver's side. I am missing. Yeah, this side. I believe the passenger side. I have. And it has, as you can see, it has the three pedals. I'm not, this actually looks, it, you know, it said manual. This is definitely an automatic brake pedal. That looks new. I'm going to have to look at an RX-7 brake pedal because that is definitely an auto brake pedal that was cut. So it is. I was told this was a manual. Maybe it was, maybe they switched. I'm gonna have to guess, do some research, figure out. Uh, I do have the headliner. It is kind of, you know, messed up. And I do have a solid uh, sunroof, not the glass one. I'm not sure. I guess it. You can kind of push it. I'll have to take all of this off and figure it out. Uh, need to clean. Over on the passenger side, I have tons of random crap. Connectors, plastic, you know, just bolts, nuts, all sorts of things seems quite random I have no idea no idea where to go to I'm gonna have to clean all that out I'll probably clean all this out I might end up just taking a uh, a hose and hosing this out if I can I mean this is this is pretty nasty I do have this wiring back here so that might not be a good idea have that box I have to figure out what that is I have to figure out what everything is but as you see trash nasty mess yeah this is gonna take a lot of work I don't exactly know what I'm missing <laughs> so I mean that will I guess that helps a little come around here I figure my first step is to get the interior completely cleaned out, figuring out, you know, if I need anything in there, get that completely cleaned, work on getting this completely cleaned. It seems like it's about to rain. I'm just going to let it rain on it. It'll probably help wash off some of the gunk and dust and crap that's sitting there for years. And, uh, yeah. I've cleaned up the hatch area there are I don't know if this is a headlight or tail light this looks like maybe it'd be more of a tail light maybe 
that side tail light, so I didn't want to throw it away. Tail light um, harness. We have this sort of amplifier, something or other. Not exactly sure what that is. And then we have things like an eccentric washer, a whole bunch of bolts and random things like that. I want to keep those. I don't want to throw those away yet because I don't know what those are for. Have this box over here, still need to figure out. But I am going to work on taking off these tail lights. I'll go ahead and get these tail lights off and then I'll be able to see and clean under this area. And then I'll work on the the cabin cleaning up there. I think I'll get a uh, probably a plastic bag for now. Put a bunch of maybe a big Ziploc bag. Put all this stuff in there. To take off the right and left lights it looks like it's just a Phillips head and maybe a 10 or an 8 and same for the right and then the center section it's just four or three, it looks like, over there, because it looks like one's broke off. Uh, bolts. I have the rear taillights off. I'm bolted all the top bumper bolts. I did the two on the top, two over here. I believe there's one more on the bottom. On either side I don't know if there's any more than that I'll have to find out but what I figure I'd do now is go ahead and do my jack up on the wheels that way the whole thing gets up I can get under there look at the diff see where the actual last bumper piece is and I'm kind of working my way from the back and I'll work my way to the front on cleaning and getting some of these pieces off figuring out what I want to do with it. So let me go ahead and get this thing jacked up. Now that I have it on my wheels and it's a reasonable distance up, I can get another look at the diff. I'm not exactly sure what kind of diff this is and it's weird kind of mounting system so yeah wonder who knows what diff that is but you're also able to look underneath. You see there's no rust. All the lines over there. I mean it's it's clean other, underneath other than you know the little dent that's on this side. There is a I guess someone jacked it up at the wrong spot. There's a dent right here. But a little arrow would probably fix that there's a small dent there and then here this is this is probably the worst because it I don't I don't know how it would get like this what would happen to make that metal I mean you'd think it'd be in a wreck but this metal is all solid and good below it is all solid and good we still need to get this out but why would it create that unless you were coming from the inside and gashing at it I got the rear bumper off or probably should say the rear bumper cover these reverse lights and I assume break or at least light up when your lights are on there's the switches down there, the license plate illumination bulb thing, that's that light 
that is, you know, yeah, that's hashed out. We're gonna look at taking this bumper off and get this bumper off and, you know, see what's behind here. The process of what I'm doing now is I'm cleaning up all the dirt. It is just caked on all over the place. And then each wire area, you know, I'm labeling it. So I know when I come back and have to put the wires down, I remember where they go. Cause this I'm gonna forget. I also got the cabin cleaned up, you know, vacuumed out with my shop vac, but it still needs a bunch of, still needs a bunch of uh, purple power, clean it all up, get it all up, and then uh, work on getting the wiring. Right now, I'm looking at trying to get all this wiring out of this ABS controller, and Looking at this uh, hatch piece, how it's gonna work as well. I took off the rear, I guess the rear bumper light uh, sub harness. We'll pull it out from this grommet for this waterproof. So I could put this in a box, I have this labeled and I labeled which actually connector goes to that and let's slowly continue. That's my RX-7 uh, FD3S. It smells kind of bad. It doesn't look like it really has poop in it or anything like that. It just looks like it just has years of caked on crap. I do plan on taking out the dash Taking, taking out the HVAC, getting all that stuff figured out, and, you know, starting fresh. All right, well, stay tuned for more. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We got FD, we got 14, and who knows what else we got. Peace.